Your attempts to influence Parliament for the Indian cause have failed. You must do more. I will not jeopardize my relationship with Queen and country to satisfy your crusade. Your Highness, you belong to India, not here acting the part of a noble foreigner. I have wasted enough time indulging in this if your nonsense. your mother could see you now, the last Maharaja of Punjab, basking inside his golden cage. How dare you? I always recommend bringing someone's mother into the argument. If he doesn't help his people, he will regret it forever. How may we help? Will you talk to him? He won't listen to me. We'll do our best. Your Highness, you have guests. I suppose Mr. Green sent you. Bringing up your mother was... Impolite, and he was wrong to do so. We'd like to rectify the situation. Then humor me, and join me in a shooting game. None of these people have any sense of enjoyment, and I am bored to death. A shooting game, seeing you haven't changed at all. Ellsworth? <laughs> My word! <laughs> How good it is to see you! The mother country has treated you well. <laughs> uh, Jacob and Evie Fry, this is Brinley Ellsworth, a friend from a past life. You've made new friends, I see. What brings you to this part of the Empire? Ah, uh, company business, unfortunately. But I could not resist the chance of seeing you again. It's been far too long. I've heard nobody throws a party better than my dearest friend. <laughs> I'm eager to see if your reputation overseas holds any truth. My servant Thomas will be scoring the game. Acquire the most amount of points by shooting the bottles in front of you. Each bottle is worth one point. You have 30 seconds. May the best shot win. Start the timer. Yeah. Perfect score! Nine points! Come, Thomas. This isn't enough of a challenge. Let's shorten the timer. Round two will now commence. Try and do as well, if not better, within a 20-second time limit. Timer at the ready. Begin! I do believe you are equally matched with this one, Sim. Your turn, Your Highness. Come, let us see if you are better with a gun than you were with a slingshot. <laughs> Allow me. Impressive. I am in awe, Sim. What they say of you is true. On earth? Sir, I believe I heard a second shot. He's right. That sounded like a second gunshot. Strange. Let me see what I can find out. I'm sure it wasn't anything serious. Uh. Don't bother. A second shot? I didn't hear anything. There was no one else <laughs> who would shoot a gun at a party. I've been doing this a long time. I know the difference between one shot and two. There were most definitely two shots. 
Are you suggesting this is a serious matter? It was most likely just an echo. Leave it be now. Guns are prohibited in the gardens. I saw the man in front of me with a gun. I just assumed it was part of the decor. You know how royalty likes to socialize. <laughs> that prince is causing problems. He deserves to be silenced. Seal. What are they up to now? You're still here? About that second shot. It was nothing, Miss Fry. Now, I must return to the party. Yes, do fill me in on your life here. It's been far too long. Of course. Apologies, Your Highness. Henry will want to hear of this. Progress? We've got a problem. We aren't the only ones seeking him out. Don't tell me the British Indies companies are harassing him again. They can't afford it. Worse, they're not acting alone. And Mr. Singh wants to be left out of it. The Templars? It can't be. We have to convince him to act quickly, or he'll be in deeper waters than he already is. Meet me back at my old shop. I might know something that can help. <laughs> <laughs> 